Welcome everyone to The Path. This is our short weekly video. For those of you who don't have time to go through and read the email, everything you can find here, the shortest two to three minutes in the Orthodox Church, here we go. Holy Week and Bright Week, thank you. Every day, for more than two weeks, we had services every morning and every evening. Thank you to everyone who made that possible. Congratulations to everyone with all of the feasts this time of year. Christos Christ, Christ is risen. The Curse Groot icon will visit us this weekend. Uh, it'll be with us on Saturday evening and Sunday morning for both liturgies, but we want to also keep the church open all night Saturday. You can sign up at the link on your screen now. Please do that as soon as possible. We also want to visit the sick and the homebound. I need to know who wants to have the icon visit them though. So please reach out to me so that we can do that. The icon will also be with us on the 18th and 19th. That's Tuesday, Wednesday for uh, evening services and divine liturgy. Then on the 19th, the icon returns to New York. Our annual meeting is May 16th. God willing, the Curse Root icon will be with us. The information is on your screen now. There's lots of exciting and good news to share. The reports will be sent out early in the week. We're asking you to re read the reports ahead of time. There won't be reports given at the meeting. There will just be question and answers. Our membership drive is on now. Please join the parish. Pay your 2020 dues so you can participate in the meeting by voting Visiting cemeteries, we're doing that Tuesday. That's actually the day we're supposed to do that. That's Radonitsa, that's 40 days before Pentecost, 10 days after, after Pascha. Uh, we often do it on Sunday of Thomas because it's just easier for folks because they work on Tuesday, but the weather was terrible on Sunday. So we're gonna do it on Tuesday. So liturgy at St. Vladimir's, eight o'clock right afterwards, we'll vi visit our St. Vladimir's graves, then on to Forest Hill Cemetery right around 10.30. Uh, so please join us then if you can. If you have graves which are farther away, please let me know and we'll find a way during this Pentecost time to visit them. All the time between Pascha and Pentecost is called Pentecost, so that's what I mean when I say during the Pentecost time. Services this week, Monday evening, Tuesday morning, that's Radonitsa. Friday evening, Saturday morning, that's our all English cycle for this month. We're pulling that ahead a week for various reasons, uh, so please join us for those as you can then. Saturday night and two liturgies on Sunday. As always, sign up for services in the church, please. That really helps us a lot. Ann Arbor, Orthodox Classical Academy. Things are moving forward. Windows are going in. Lots of things are happening. Soon we'll be the siding, the doors, everything. It's just all coming together. Thank God for all of that. Thank you for all your prayers. Keep Please, please keep praying. Please volunteer to help if you can. And please set up a recurring donation if you can to help us offset the cost. Our youth groups meet on May 23rd. The sign up is on your screen now. Please do sign up. We need to know how many people are coming so that we can have the right amount of food and snacks. Very important. Uh, in order to have these youth group meetings. We're really excited to be able to have the youth groups meet again. All Parish Pascha Party is May 30th. The rain date will be the 31st. It's at our place in Celine. If you don't know where that is, please let me know. The reason we have a rain date is it's gonna be mostly outside to help cut down on the spread of the disease. That's it. Please join us this week as your personal schedule allows. See you soon at St. Vladimir's.